Hello and welcome to whiskey.com where fine spirits meet. And today I'm having a special edition on the cask. And it's a uh, yeah, 11 year old Glen Scotia whiskey that was matured. It's sherry double cask matured. And it's like I think every Glen Scotia, an unpeated spirit that was first matured in first fill bourbon casks. And then it was finished in a combination of Oloroso and PX Sherry Cask. Mm. And it was finished for 10 months, which is a fairly long time. And yeah, Campbelltown Whiskey, a small tacky little distillery. It's, it's in Campbelltown. Campbelltown used to be the capital of whiskey distilling very back, 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 back in the days. And one of, one of the distilleries who survived was Glen Scotia. When you come to Glen Scotia, it's kind of in the middle of a, not urban area, a residential area. That's the one uh, where you have a lot of like normal homes, these typical British brick homes and stone homes. And it's a, it's a stone building and pretty square shape. Then it has a few uh, warehouses around it but it's really it's it's a city town small city distillery so it's really inside the town which is not normal these days usually you build your distillery a bit out of town so you can expand or have trucks come in and out and don't disturb the residents of the area what i love about it it's uh it's a really good whiskey as in it's a I'm not quite sure if it's cask strength or high strength, but it has 54.1% uh, ABV, not colored and not chill filtered, has an age statement and yeah, the, the casks are really, sound really fine. And so on, on paper, this whiskey is yeah, a really good, really, really good whiskey. Mm -hmm. Oh, here, here it says it is cask strength. 11 years, 54.1% uh, ABV. Uh, sounds like it was a very cold maturation. That also means there is uh, less evaporation in total, but more evaporation relative in alcohol. So the strength drops quite a lot when you have a cold weather like in Campbelltown. Mm. Do they say how limited they are? No, they only say limited edition. Mm. Probably had a few casks, but you can't can never tell. It's a it's a spicy one. A lot of spices of. Uh, curry spices like like a bell pepper pepper not a chili catch but uh also very fruity like plums and mandarin or peaches yeah something in that direction a very soft vibrant fruity sweetness yeah a little mandarin in, this, in as well so it's a little a little bit of a, a citrus touch but a very mild one like a like a mild orange or mandarin or something like that mm. That's a sherry, right? Hmm. Ooh. And it changes quite a lot. Hmm. It really builds up after after you swallow and have a few in, in your mouth for a few seconds. Hmm. And it's a lovely mixture between spiciness and fruitiness. Mm. And it has quite some legs in it too. Yeah. Now that I smell it, after you've swallowed this, there's a 
all the whiskey is going on in your nasal system and that kind of mm, area and you you feel it it's it's got a little butterness but your butteriness or smells of butter a bit a little bit oh, but it has a now it has a a really lovely spicy note to it if you'd give me that in the blind tasting i would have easily said that's a misunara oak or some special oak because of that that strange spiciness in there that has really a a nice curry touch to it mm. 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 Oh, mm. lovely that well, really got me a little bit back to the curry because i i usually don't like curry that much because i i was forced to eat curry for a year nearly when i had that that vegan girlfriend i'm not vegan vegetarian girlfriend she made curry every day mm, but so i'm quite fed up with curry but this i really like mm, i really like but it's it also has a that not that like european curry style but that original indian curry style with a lot of cloves a lot of strange spices that i don't even know how they call it or pronounce it so it's a intense original curry style i like these few times i had curry when i was in india and when you're in india and you order a curry you always go non-spicy or very 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 low spicy and you get a medium to high spicy Mm. 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 Oh, lovely. Mm. A lovely, spicy, mm, fruity whiskey. Although the spiciness is overwhelming. So you, you have that fruitiness in the beginning and you still have faint notes of fruitiness. But mm, the more you sip it, the more you get into the spiciness and the more of the fruitiness is being pushed out. Mm, lovely. Mm, good whiskey. I have to say that mm, I'm really overwhelmed of how good this, this Glen Scotia performed. So I really love it. Yeah. Thank you very much for watching. If you like this video, then please feel free to give us a thumbs up and see you next time.